Hi guys, it's Steph. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are at my favorite place trying out some new menu items. We are at my most favorite place of the year. You know cheesy gordita crunches and nacho fries and beefy supremes. It's the most yummiest fast food place with a side of sour cream. Mm. I'm in the Christmas spirit. I'm in my Grinch sweatshirt. So cute. It's a big Grinch. It's from Ari. Ari came out with the cutest Christmas collection. I'm obsessed. I love the Grinch. I think the Grinch stuff is just so cute. I haven't seen the movie in so long though. I need to watch it. I watched Elf last night. So Taco Bell has new grilled cheese nacho fries. Loaded nacho fries. You gotta be kidding me. So they have one with beef, steak, one you can get original or you can get spicy. So I think I'm gonna do the grilled cheese beef spicy. I think I want that. And they also have the double decker taco. So a little bit of history about this double decker taco. This first hit Taco Bell's menu in 1995. It became a permanent menu item in June of 2006 and it was removed 13 years later. So, they brought it back for a short period of time, and I'm excited to try it out today. The sun is shining today. It is so, so nice out. I am going to take the dogs for a walk with my friend here after I eat some lunch. It's 51 degrees out, and tomorrow I think it's supposed to be 57. So, pretty warm for December. It's like perfect weather, though, with the sun out. I love this chilly weather where you could be completely fine in a sweater, but the sun is still on you. It's just like the best weather but I know snow's got to be coming sometime soon last year around Christmas we got snow and we got snowed in it was like the biggest blizzard ever and I actually got stuck at my friend's house for like four days because the roads were so so bad and no one wanted to drive I definitely have some anxiety with driving now especially when the weather is bad because anyone can slip on the road and it's just so scary and yeah, so I stayed until the roads I knew were okay. And also my car handles were frozen shut anyways. So I wasn't going anywhere. Hopefully it doesn't get too bad this year like that. But also it was, it was a good time. Like a blizzard is always kind of fun if you can stay in. Like when I was younger, we had I think two weeks off of school because of a big blizzard and we all got blizzard bags and just did homework at home. Oh, that was so nice and so much fun. Okay, so let's talk about what's inside of the Double Decker Taco Supreme. So we have beef, cheese, sour cream, lettuce, beans, and tomato. And I'm definitely gonna get a side of Chipotle sauce to go with that. And then we're gonna do the grilled cheese. We're pulling up. We'll get to the fries after I order. Could I do the Double Decker Taco Supreme with the side of Chipotle sauce? And the grilled cheese nacho fries with the spicy beef. And the grilled cheese nacho fries with steak. And another one with steak, you said? Yes. And then could I do a side of sour cream and chipotle sauce, please? Okay, give me one second, please. We actually don't have spicy beef right now. You don't have the spicy one? No. N not with the jalapenos? Oh, never mind. <laughs> we have it. Oh, okay. Okay, so you said you wanted the spicy beef and then another one with just steak? Yeah. Okay. What, after the fries? A side of sour cream and chipotle sauce. Is it a side of sour cream and chipotle sauce? Yeah. Okay, anything else? That's all. Fourteen seventy-seven. Okay, thank you. It's the most wonderful time of the year. There'll be my mistletoe in and knots will be glowing. Okay guys, I got the food. I had to cut the cameras. That really took like 40 minutes. This Taco Bell is always really, really slow. It's just, it's just like that. It's connected to a KFC, so maybe they have some confusion going back there. 
Like, am I supposed to be making a taco or frying some chicken? <laughs> I would love to see what that kitchen's like. For those of you who don't know and you're new to my channel, I worked at McDonald's when I was younger. I worked at the, the front desk, desk, the register, or the drive-thru. But we got our food. It must be all hot and ready to go. I think let's do the, do the taco first. Mmm, so this is like everyone's favorite apparently. Oh, I forgot to ask for sauce. It's okay, we got chipotle sauce. So we have some refried beans in the fold. Mmm, and I love refried beans. It's like my favorite thing to get at a Mexican restaurant. Look at that. Taco cheers. Let's give it a try. Mmm. That's really good. <laughs> we all knew it was gonna be good. I love the texture of the soft, chewy beans in the tortilla. It makes the taco have like just a really good soft bite. And then I think chipotle sauce and sour cream are always a must. Mmm. I like that a lot. I have a question for you guys. What's your favorite thing to watch me eat? Do you like watching me eat tacos, burgers? Um, what else? I love watching people eat tacos. I think it's so satisfying. Mm-mm-mm. -mm -mm. It's not gonna fork. I think I have some in my car though. Oh, okay. Let's see what's going on in here. That is. How much are these? This was $5. You really don't get that much at all. Like if you were sharing this with someone, it's you'd get like three fries each. <laughs> okay, let's look at the other one and see. So that's the steak. This one is the beef, which is a dollar cheaper. Okay, we, we got a little bit more here. Okay. And she did not make it spicy like I ordered. There's no jalapenos on here. Maybe she was new and couldn't find the button. I don't know. <laughs> I'm honestly just gonna add them all to one box. That's what I thought I was getting, honestly. <laughs> okay, well, we gotta try it. I mean, they are good. I really wanted the spicy ones, though. The girl that was working was definitely not having the best time because I waited so long and she just handed me my food and didn't even say like, here you go, sorry for the wait, here you go. She just looked at me and I said, thank you. Mmm, <laughs> this steak is good. So the cheese is like, like, cooked on there, kind of like how they do the grilled cheese burrito. Mmm. Nacho fries with this cheese, though, that's really good. Mmm. So the fries have some chipotle sauce on them. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know if I like the beef or the steak better. I think I actually like the steak better. That's really good. I feel like this is how big it should be though. Lots of the time when you get like a side of fries at a restaurant, 
you get like this many. So Taco Bell is skimping a little bit on the fries. I do like the loaded fries better than the regular though, definitely. So I found out, and I saw this online, that there's a city in Alaska and it's called the North Pole, or it's maybe a street, it's something like that. But the whole area is dec decorated for Christmas all the time. I wanna go there. I would love to go on an Alaskan cruise. I just get so extremely car sick that I'd be worried I'd get sick on a cruise. I, I have car, car sickness to the max. I get it so badly. I cannot ride in the back seat. And they make these glasses you can wear and it has like water in the sides to help like balance out your head to make you not get sick. But I think just nothing would work. I just get so, so car sick. And I looked up why it is, because I, I was like, is it a placebo effect? And I just hate riding in the back seat. But no, I looked it up, and when you're in the front, you're under the two wheels that are making the turns. So sitting above them, your body like goes with the movement. When when you're in the back, you're like moving after. So it definitely like makes you car sick. And I've had it ever since I was little. I've always thrown up in cars and get really, really nauseous. And it lasts until after, too. But I just get it really bad. So I don't know if I can go on a boat. I took a ferry boat in Greece to a different island. And that was a very big boat. They had a parking lot on the bottom. It was a very big boat. I got sick on the boat. Let me know what you guys think, or if any of you have the same issue and have been on a cruise, because that would be the worst to go on one and then get super sick like that. <laughs> I need a napkin so bad. I wish I had some. <laughs> ah. But, anywho, I know you could take Drama Bean, but they say you can't take that if you're gonna be drinking. And if I was on a boat with all inclusive, I definitely would be getting myself some pina coladas. So, I don't really know. I guess just a cruise might not be for me. But I do love laying on the beach. I could lay at a beach all day long. I'm content with that, just hanging out at a beach. I definitely like more relaxing vacations rather than like up and going and doing like a bunch of stuff. They sure do put a lot of cheese on these fries though. This is one messy video. <laughs> 
I'm so sorry if you guys don't like messy videos. <laughs> I ran out of napkins in my car. I think I like the beef ones better. Or no, I think I like I like the steak ones better. The steak I talk about is good. If anything, that has a little bit of spice to it. Well, 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 I made a mess all over my laps. <laughs> I need to stand up out of the car and get these crumbs off me. It looks like I got a salad thrown at me because it's just lettuce and cheese everywhere. <laughs> Overall, I think the fries are very good. They don't look the best, but they do taste really good. I would get those again for sure. The taco was good as well, but it doesn't, it's not on the top of my list, but it was really good. And if you like beans, then I definitely recommend trying it. But the loaded fries, that's like the only way I'm gonna get nacho fries because usually you just get the nacho cheese, but that's like real cheese. Mm. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's little Taco Bell video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up. Leave a comment down below what you wanna see me try next and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys.